Good day and welcome to 501 Matli, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this diagram of a square with a line that cuts across it. And we're given some dimensions of that line, namely 2 cm, 5 cm, and 3 cm. With that, we're to determine the area of the square. Pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm gonna solve it this way. So, first, I'll start by showing that we have a couple of similar triangles. To do so, we want to show that there are at least two angles that are the same in both triangles. So in this smaller triangle on the right, where we have the three centimeters, there's a right angle. Also in the big triangle there, you see that that's also a right angle. Also, this angle in the small triangle on the right will be the same over there in the big triangle on the left. Why is that the case? Well, because those two sides of the square are parallel to each other, therefore those two angles are corresponding angles. So with that, we have proven that the small triangle with the tree is similar to that large big triangle above. Or in other words, we can show visually that this triangle is just a smaller version of that larger triangle. Continuing, we don't know the dimensions of that small triangle on the right but we know that they are in the ratio of 3 so I can label that side there 3x now starting on the right going all the way over to the left that's 3 centimeters plus 5 centimeters or in other words the hypotenuse of that large triangle is 3 plus 5 which is 8 so since those triangles are similar then their sides are in corresponding ratios. So if we have three to eight, then we'll also have three X to eight X. Similarly, in the little triangle over on the left, if that hypotenuse is two, then that height will be two X. We don't know what the value of X is, but that is irrelevant at this point and to the end. So what we know so far is in terms of X, the side of the square will be 2x plus 8x, which is 10x. If we make a construction line that runs parallel to the square, we can see that that 3x on the right will also be the very same 3x on the left. So if that is 8x and that is 3x, then 8 minus 3 leaves us with 5. So this is 5x inside of that triangle that we have made. And similarly, if that is 10x below, that will be the same 10x for that side. So we have a right angle triangle and we can use Pythagoras' theorem where we'll have that the square of 10x plus the square of 5x will be equal to the square of 5. So that will give us 100x squared plus 25x squared is equal to 25. Simplifying, we'll have 125x squared is equal to 25. Where can we go from here? Well, how can we find the area of the square? Well, area is side times side, where we know that the side of the square is 10x. Therefore, the area will be the square of 10x, which is 100x squared. So, when we look at this, we see that we have a simple ratio, and we can cross multiply and divide. So, the area will be 100x squared times 25 divided by 125x squared. The x squares will cancel. Now, we're basically just finding 4 fifths of 25. So 4 fifths of 25 gives us that the area is 20 square centimeters. Did you get it right? If so, comment below. And as always, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.